WWDC 25 brought us massive updates throughout the Apple ecosystem of software, all stemming from their new liquid glass theme. In my last video, I talked about all the updates from iOS 26, so you can go ahead and check that video out over here. And in this video, I'll go over the top 10 iPad OS 26 features. Not sure if at this point we've hit a thousand subscribers or not, because I don't know exactly when this video is going to go live. But if we have, congratulations to us as a community on this channel. And if you're not a subscriber, let's ask ourselves, what are we doing? Hit the sub button and the like button to help this video reach more people who enjoy these types of videos. Now let's get to the top 10 features of iPad OS 26. iPad OS 26 is arguably the biggest update to all devices showcased at WWDC 25, even bigger than iOS 26, blurring the line even more between an iPad and a Mac. The first major update is a brand new UI focusing on the look and feel of Vision OS, and Apple is calling it Liquid Glass. As the name suggests, a glass-like look that leverages the optical properties of glass, incorporating translucent materials that adapt to light and dark environments. This design element is not just a visual change, it also affects how users interact with the software, making it more intuitive and responsive. It also includes a new clear mode for your home screen that has got some mixed reviews. Personally, I don't think it looks like the glass elements in the apps like Safari and Camera or how it looked in Apple's showcase. It feels like Apple just put a persistent tint option in white, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. The second change is a massive multitasking overhaul. While Apple dubbed iPad OS 26 the biggest update ever to its tablet operating system during the keynote, the windowing system for multitasking is likely what most users are excited about. The update introduces floating windows that let you run multiple apps simultaneously and position them exactly where you want. The new window tiling feature makes rearranging windows effortless. Plus the windowing system integrates seamlessly with stage manager and external displays when you need extra space. Taking inspiration from the Mac, iPadOS now includes Exposé, a feature that offers a quick overview of all open windows. This was demonstrated with the iPad's Magic Keyboard accessory, which, despite its high price tag, seems essential for taking full advantage of these new iPad OS features. Best of all, these new windowing and multitasking features will be available on all current iPads, including the most basic model. Though how well they'll work on smaller screens, like the iPad mini, remains to be seen. Feature number three is a new menu bar for apps. Like the multitasking window, this feature is bringing the iPad even closer to being a full-fledged Mac. iPad OS introduces a brand new menu bar that displays app-specific settings and tips with developers having control over the menu's contents. You can access the menu bar by either swiping down from the top of the screen or when using a mouse, moving your cursor to the top. Number four is a new file app. The Mac experience deepens with a redesigned files app that now features folders and a layout mirroring Mac OS file browsing. With new list layouts and the ability to drag files to the dock, file management feels more intuitive than ever. Folders now spring open to reveal their contents, and you can set default apps for opening specific file types. Audio settings are getting a big update at number five for anyone who podcasts or streams from an iPad. Added audio selection input controls seem like they'll also help. The added hook-ins should make accessories connect more easily and be able to pick which is the primary source. At number six, the preview app comes to iPad, giving users a dedicated app to view and edit PDFs with powerful features like Apple Pencil Markup and Autofill built in. And with background tasks, audio input selection, and local capture, the iPad OS 26 unlocks new capabilities for creative pros working with audio and video. Coming in at number seven is a few updates to Apple Intelligence, including live translation to the phone apps, FaceTime, and iMessages. For FaceTime calls, captions will be displayed in your language, and for messages, automatic translation will still work even if the person you're texting isn't using an iPhone. And when you're on a standard phone call, the translation voice will be spoken out loud. Updates to Genmoji will now let you be more specific with your requests, allowing you to change expressions, accessories, and hair length in Image Playground, you can now access ChatGPT image styles. For example, turning a contact photo into an oil painting, Image Playground also integrates more deeply with ChatGPT, letting you combine descriptions and images to create more specific results. Shortcuts has gained new intelligent actions for summarizing text with writing tools 
and creating images in Image Playground. In one demonstrated example, a student created a shortcut that used Apple intelligence models to compare their class notes against an audio transcription of the lecture. A minor but welcome new feature announced in iPad OS is the addition of Read Pen Tool that uses stroke angle presets to help you practice calligraphy skills with your Apple Pencil. You'll be able to use the new pen in Notes Preview, Freeform, Journal, and any third-party app that uses Apple's Pencil Kit API. Accessibility features come in at number nine. The Accessibility Reader is a new system-wide reading mode designed to enhance the readability of text for individuals with low vision and dyslexia. Users can customize the text to suit their preferences, and it can be utilized in various apps, including real-world text. Braille access empowers users to take notes in Braille using their iPads. With Braille screen input or a connected Braille keyboard, users can launch apps, take notes, and even perform calculations using Nemeth Braille. Additionally, users can open Braille-ready format files to access files created using Braille note-taking devices. And finally, at number 10, we have new apps for iPad OS 26. iPads will receive the Journal app, which allows users to write down their daily thoughts using Apple Pencil or a keyboard similar to iOS. iPads will also get the brand new Apple Games app, which introduces a game overlay and provides easy access to events, updates, settings, and the ability to invite friends to play. Additionally, the iPad will receive Apple's phone app, which includes new hold and call screening features. So if you're between buying an iPad or a MacBook Air, but we're worried about functionality of the iPad, I definitely think you could pull the trigger on the iPad. And as of writing this, Amazon does have a few sales going on different iPads, but depending on when you watch this, check Amazon or check your local stores as most usually have some sort of sale running for different types of iPads. But what do you think of iPad OS 26? And what is your new favorite feature? Let me know down in the comments below what you think you would use the most. And if you found this video helpful or informative, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.